Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Tom Spark and today we're rev reviewing an interesting product. It's called like the LS31LE. It kind of looks like it says Leslie, um, but it's a Lucid Sound headset. Now, I haven't seen too many people talking about this headset. It's $150 on Amazon. It's a fully wireless headset. It's compatible with PS4, Xbox One, you know, your phone and PC. Now with Xbox One, you are gonna have to kind of plug it into that controller. Um, so it's not a fully wireless solution in that sense. But for PS4, it actually does work for fully wireless and for PC as well. So this headset really does kind of remind me of, it reminds me of kind of like the Razer kind of Man of War kind of headset. So I'm gonna show you some clips right now, up close and personable of the headset. And I'm gonna show you, you know, what it looks like when I'm wearing it. So let's get up close and personal. This headset looks absolutely incredible. It's got a nice metal construction along uh, side, you know, some uh, plastic, but the fake kind of leather there on the top with that quilted design gives it kind of that premium feel. And some of the metal construction here, it feels really nice and makes the headset feel quite sturdy. Now it is a bit heavy on the top, but the cushions are very nice and plenty of room for your ears. And it sits comfortably even on glasses. Now this is what it looks like on the side there, a pretty cool design. One of my favorite things about this headset actually is how you control some of the features. It was a little tricky to do one-handed, but I got the phone set up pretty nicely indeed at that kind of awkward angle. As you can see here, you just kind of twist and turn and that's how you can control the audio. It's really, really cool. It works really good in video games. Um, when you're playing on the PS4 or PC, turning that audio just the way you like it. Now you turn on the button there uh, to turn it on, just hold it let down a little bit and it'll turn on. That's uh, where you put in, um, you know, the, the, the audio for the phone. And there you have the equalizer button. Just tap it uh, one or two, three times, depending on which feature you want. Tap here once to actually mute your microphone and it's gonna turn it red. Tap here to mute the audio of the game. Very cool features indeed. I really, really like these controls. Some of the best controls I've seen from any gaming headset ever. And now there are a couple cables to keep track of. You know, you could charge it up and this is, you know, some further cabling. Um, basically with the Xbox One, you're gonna have to connect with that Xbox One chat cable. And again, you have that optical cable, which I just mentioned, that boom mic, USB charging cable, and you even have a mic port cover to put on if you don't wanna have the mic, which is kind of funny. It's gonna be easy to get lost though. One thing I really do like about the setup of this headset has really good directions, probably the best directions I've ever seen from a headset. Um, just really good pictures, really good, simple, easy to follow stuff. And there are QR codes and stuff like that in there if you wanna get online instructions as well. But overall, the setup for this headset was really, really well done, really easy to set up. And again, um, it's really easy to figure out how to use these controls and stuff like that. Now, plugging into the PS4 and getting things set up was quite easy. You just plug it in, starts lighting up, you push the button on your headset and it'll connect really easily. All right, guys, now that we've kind of discussed, you know, what the headset looks like, um, some of the cool features and how they feel, let's go ahead and discuss some of the audio and microphone quality. All right, guys, so this is what the headset looks like when I'm wearing it. It looks pretty cool, right? Um, similar to, you know, what I would describe is kind of like that Razer Man of War style. Uh, pretty big here. Um, but a cool thing about the headset, and initially what drew my eye to it, is that the headset actually looks kind of like Beats headphones or, you know, maybe some more stylish headphones. Doesn't have that traditional kind of gaming headset vibe. And, you know, if I took off, you know, even the headset part like, you, like this, it's pretty easy to do. You know, you might just think these are some regular headphones, you know, they don't really look like uh, a gaming headset at all, really. Um, so pretty cool there. The look is really nice. Now, probably my one of my favorite things about this headset and one reason that I'm keeping it and using it for PS4 or maybe even PC as well is that the comfort is really good. Now, for me, as you can see, I'm wearing pretty thick rimmed glasses. And really the only other headset that I've found to be comfortable with these glasses are probably the HyperX Cloud 2. So they have a wired and wireless version of that headset. Here it is right here. Um, this is a really comfortable headset with my glasses. And actually this one is really comfortable as well. Uh, the reason is, is because it's kind of like 
this design with kind of the ear cups and your ear goes inside and these don't put too much pressure on your head most of the pressure is kind of on top of your head but these do still fit uh, really snug they're a little bit snug in terms of how they feel uh, definitely more snug than my hyper x clouds but again if you kind of put it on right most of the pressure is going to be like on the top of your head it's not going to be too much pressure pushing in this way which a lot of wireless headsets actually have that problem you can't really wear them with glasses so if you are a glasses user you could see i could even just kind of take them off and even put them on pretty well which shows that there's not too much pressure going in right here onto my glasses um really nice indeed all right guys so up until this point that's a little too close that's pretty good so up until this point guys i have been using my blue yeti microphone which is uh, you know, studio mic around 100 to 120 dollar range. Uh, it's a pretty good microphone. Um, so this is what it sounds like coming from this headset. Um, it's pretty cool because it has like you know the bi-directional audio, but also when you're using it, you can kind of hear a slight echo of your voice, letting you know um, that it is coming through. Shouldn't be too noticeable uh, through video games and stuff like that. But I kind of like that feature. It kind of lets me know you know what I'm sounding like and it is pretty cool um, some of my other favorite features about this headset are so i really like how bright it is it's very easy to see when you're muted um, not a lot of headsets have that good of a feature now a lot of headsets do allow you to mute like that but it's not as bright and easy to see as that i reviewed the corsair x uh corsair void wireless headphones and it did have a tiny red button you couldn't really see it at all so i really like how bright and easy that is not only that guys but the muting works really well you just tap here tap again there you go now if you want to mute the sound of your video game there you go you can do it like that as well um so pretty cool features indeed right so there you go, kind of a cool sound there, nothing too annoying. Uh, another thing is a lot of headsets kind of have like this annoying like, oh, your headset has been muted, um, kind of audio from like this kind of fake AI within the headset. This one doesn't have that, just has some nice beeps and stuff like that. Um, another thing I like is that the other controls are also easily accessible when you're even wearing the headset. It's easy to turn it off, it connects really quickly. Um, overall, the feel is just really polished. So let's do a comparison now between the HyperX Cloud um, headset that is wired so you can get some sort of idea you know the difference between you know studio microphone this microphone that's wireless for 150 dollars as well as you know 70 80 dollar um headset wired that you could compare it to all right guys so this is the hyper x cloud uh microphone quality just as a short comparison test um hyper x cloud is also a very good headset um it's really comfortable glasses as well um, they do have a, wire, a wireless version that's $150 as well in the same range. But anyways, let's go back to the Lucid Sound. So what do you think, guys? Which one do you think sounds better? Let me know down in the comments down below. So right now I am listening to, uh, I am listening to Taylor Swift on these headphones. Um, audio sounds really good. Bass sounds really good as well. When you turn that equalizer up, um, overall for $150 wireless headset, this sounds pretty damn good. Yeah, just doing a test between my HyperX Cloud headphones, which are around $70, $80 wired range, like I said, um, definitely doesn't sound as good as these um, Lucid Sound headphones. So I think for $150, you're really getting your bane for the buck. Audio sounds really good. Bass sounds really good. Um, pretty cool indeed. Really easy to switch between those equalizers features, which I like. Doesn't really require you have an app or something like that to switch between, which can be a kind of a pain in the ass, especially with the kind of the Corsair headphones and stuff like that. You have to go in the app and kind of switch it around um, a little bit more. But overall, guys, I am really impressed with these headphones. They're extremely comfortable. The controls are some of the most intuitive and easy to use uh, feature controls I've ever seen. It just tap to mute, tap to mute, uh, switch off. Connection is really fast. They're easy to turn off as well, but they're also extremely comfortable with glasses. They're tighter on the head, a little bit snug maybe, but over time you're gonna get used to it and they're, they're extremely comfortable. It's pretty good at isolating the sound as well, guys. 
Anyways, really impressed with these headsets. Go ahead and try them out. Go ahead and click on the link down below if you want to purchase these headphones on Amazon. If you decide to purchase these headphones, I'll get a small kickback. But anyways, guys, thanks for checking out this review. Um, I just wanted to do a, a quick review on these headphones since I was so impressed with them. See you guys on the next review.